Hi everyone, it's Jules by Jude here. And I want to show you, I did I, a cane the, for the first time and it's, I attempted a rose cane. And this is kind of how they came out. I'd like to show you those. I have a little bit left, I've been doing some. I don't know if I showed you in any of my other videos, but these are those. And I have one that's in the toaster oven now. And what I want to do is I was looking at them, I'm like, I like them, they're red. This one here is kind of like a um, abstract, that's a better word, abstract. And you can see it right there. And these also, same way. But I do like that, that's kind of what I do like about my art. I like to do a, little, a lot of that kind of stuff, so that does please me. Now, what I was thinking about now, though, was I would like to see some of this behind a little bit of black. So what I'm going to attempt to do here is keep them, because I have a thicker layer of white, I want to see if I can get a design that has a little bit of more back of the black come through than the white. So I reduced this one a little bit and it's starting to look a lot less like a flower. And this one here is a more about the same size as I had it. I had created it. I didn't reduce it very much. Well, I'm not going to do a video on a cane to you for how to do a rose until I am better at it. Um, and more confident and feeling because these are only the first two that I did and um, this one is now pretty distorted actually since I reduced it and there you go it's a little bit better and I think that was the first one I did anyhow there's some things that I need to adjust and try so you know it's not a failure I did ask my granddaughter, you know, point blank, and if you really want to know the truth about something most of the time, you ask a child. So I asked, you know, my six-year-old granddaughter, what does this look like to you? She said, a flower. I said, what kind of flower? She said, a rose. So I kind of got a drift that, you know, it, it, it did resemble a rose and, it, and a flower. So. To me, it's not a failure, <laughs> but I would like to get a little better at it, especially before I do a video on it, a video on how to do the cane. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slice a piece or two from this, this particular cane. And in doing so, I want to place my pieces further apart, which I'm hoping that will create when I spread the piece, the um, clay out with my roller, that some of the black will come out. Okay, instead of being covered up. So let's see if what I intended to do happens. Now I just want to make a small little pendant because I only have so much of my cane left. So I really don't need to make, now see how it's stretching out? And that's what I wanted to do. I just want some of the black to come through. What I'm trying to do is to get the black to come out in part of my design. But in the same term, I have to get this, in the same turn, I gotta get this to, for my satisfaction, flat, flesh with the other piece of clay and you know I could always also put this through the pasta machine just to make sure that the pieces are one thickness instead of partially thick and so that's what I think I will do but before I do that I want to trim it and I'm going to put it through on my thickest because that's actually what the background piece was when I started. And, and then I'll see where we go from there. Okay? So I'm only going to put it through once. Cross my fingers. It's not too distorted yet. 
thick enough. Now see how it got distorted? That's okay. That's all right so far with me. Because keep in mind, these are my other distorted pieces. But I still don't have the effect that I'm looking for. So let me put a little bit here. And that's super thin. So that's enough. And let me see if I can put... And this cane I'm using... Mm, I don't know if I should... I can't use that. That's too too much together. I know what I'll do, though. To keep it the same color. Oh. Let's try this. I like trying new things and experimenting and whatnot. I just seen a really cool tutorial Jessima put out today. Every Wednesday, I think she does one, and that is the um, faux rocks, which was the tiger's eye. Now I've worked with um, real tiger's eye and I've seen hers and they look really good they're really nice it's uh, she's doing a really good job she knows what she's doing that's for sure she knows her stuff and, um, there's a couple more cutters I need to get from her cuts do a teardrop sorry about that So, what I'm trying to do in this is capture a little bit of the black and the white. Let's see what this looks like. It's okay. Um, I'd like to do another one. Let me see. Let's give it another try. what happens with that. So when you're cutting your clay out, you know, um, especially the Kato, you might want to give it a couple rolls even though it is the same, even though you put it through your pasta machine, because um, the stiffer clays, they, they turn into uh, crumbles, and um, that is a pain in the butt going through the pasta machine, in my opinion. All right, now, probably by the magic of that, eh, let's try it again. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to see if I can get that rose a little more in the center. So now I have an idea about where I want to place these pieces of cane that I have left. There's not many of them, so... I'm trying to spread them out because I want to see some of that black. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to use the proper side of the blade. And now I have an idea that, honestly, I don't want them to be too thick. I want them to be thin so they do not distort as much. And on the black, the spaces will come out better. Now this cane is uh, soft, so it has done its own thing, a little bit of it. And so I'm going to put one in the center. I'm going to work my way out from there. And I think that's really where I went wrong the last time. So now I'm going to use the rest of my cane. I think I can get one more slice out of that two well I'll slice can slice it one more time I think oh we'll see ah I did for the most part just want to stretch that out a little bit and put that down there and same with this one a little bit of a thicker side going on but that's okay because I can put this inward like that. Now what I can do is roll this out and see what it looks like. 
See if it's what I'm more like to what I like or what I'm looking for. And I can always, I have a couple little thin slices that I can put in the place of this or that. Now what I'll do is cut that, cut this, cut over there. A little bit more of what I'm looking for. Get out of there, you. And that's just in case I catch that edge. And here's another portion for the same reason. And that one might mesh down because it's very thick. Let's see. There we go. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. We are getting there. Let me try again to see if I can get what I'm looking for. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. way I can be assured that all of the creases are flat. I might make these into earrings here. I'm not sure. I'm not positive about these two. I'm still making my mind up. You know, when you look in, someone told me, um, and you guys know I'm learning, so, but someone told me, you know, hey, um, don't overthink this stuff. So, I've walked away from um, some of my things and then came back and said, well, that's not bad at all. I think that looks pretty good. And so that's what I'm going to do with these two because I'm not really sure about it. I do like this. I like this. I love this. I love the person who made that cane and I'm going to try to make them like that. And uh, when I get close to making my version of their cane or the cane with the rose, I will definitely do a tutorial on that. So, okay, so this is my um, eBay, Jewels by Jude 1. Just as you see it, my husband wrote that for me. I have to get a card, a proper one. So, if you like the video, like it, share it, and please subscribe because I can always use subscriptions in the whole business. So, thank you very much. God bless you.